Hey folks, welcome. Here we discuss real stories by real people. Today we have the story of a man whose wife falls in love with her gym trainer. Let's see how it goes. Story 1. My wife 30 and I 29 decided that we needed to do something about ourselves. We've been married for 7 years and things just started getting kind of stale. Both of us like our stationary lives for lack of a better word. We're not very active, we stay at home and watch movies kind of people. I started noticing that things were getting worse when we would plan to go do a trip or some other activity. And then when the day came, my wife would just decide she wasn't up for going. It became so bad that we didn't have any romantic urges at all. It kind of felt like both of us were just living our lives adjacent to each other and our flame had faded away. I knew I loved my wife and I thought she loved me, so I thought that it really was just our lifestyle that was affecting us. I told my wife that I had gotten both of us gym memberships and had invested in a personal trainer for both of us. She was upset at first because I didn't consult her, but when we had the talk about how things were going, I was able to convince her to go. I sort of guilt tripped her into going honestly, but I feel like it's a good thing to guilt trip someone for. So we met with both our trainers and got started. Getting started was the hardest thing, but once we got invested and got into a routine, it became easier and even fun some days. I started weightlifting for the first time in my life and really enjoyed it. Seeing my own progress became its own encouragement. Same thing for my wife. She became really excited to go to the gym and enjoyed her workouts too. I think she enjoyed going to the gym a lot more than I expected her to. At first I was glad. I mean, that's what I wanted us to do, right? But it felt like to her, it was more than just the exercise that she was excited for. She went from talking about her exercise and how much improvement she was making, to how much improvement she was told she was making. I know that might seem like a small difference, but it's more like she was happy to be told by her trainer that she was improving more than that she was actually improving. I started noticing that she became more and more reliant on her trainer and she was spending more time with him. Usually we would go to the gym together every other day, but lately she's going by herself on her off days too. Sometimes she doesn't even tell me she's planning to go. I just come home and she's not there for hours. I don't know, I feel like she has a really close relationship with him. This was in contrast to my trainer, who I felt like had plans to get me started and keep me motivated to keep going on my own. You know, I became jealous. I felt like my wife wasn't paying any attention to me anymore and that she was being pulled away from me. Her trainer's a good looking guy, and while I was trying to look like him eventually, I wasn't there yet. I talked to a friend of mine about it and convinced me that I was being jealous and paranoid. I was a bit more right than I thought. The other day, my wife and I were at my brother's house who had just gotten a puppy. She took a video of the puppy playing with their 5 year old. I asked to see it and she gave me her phone while she took a shower. I scrolled through some of her videos and I found one of her trainers demonstrating how to do a stretch. I looked into some of her pictures and found not only candid shots of him while they were training, but she had saved screenshots of him from Facebook or Instagram or something. She has a whole section of her photos dedicated to this man. I don't know what to do now. I haven't talked to her about this yet. I don't know how I would approach the subject and I don't even know what she would say about it. Am I being crazy? I feel like the thing I brought into our lives to help our marriage is going to break it apart. Update. My wife and I had a confrontation conversation about her relationship with her trainer. It didn't go well. At first things were normal. I told her that I saw pictures of him on her phone and I wanted to know why she had them. She started to chastise me for violating her privacy and going through her phone without her permission. Even if she had those photos, it doesn't mean it was right to go through them. I expected that part. Then she started to tell me that the reason she had them was because they were in fact soulmates and they were in love with one another. I did not expect this part. My wife explained in detail how ever since the two of them locked eyes, she knew they were meant to be together. She went on and on about how great he was to her and how he was always encouraging her and making sure that everything was going okay to her. When they would see each other, he would always smile and things around her would just feel better. She had already planned on leaving me but as thanks for bringing the two of them together and providing for her, she was planning on giving me favorable terms for her divorce. So just like that, my wife is planning on leaving me. I've tried to talk to her to no avail. Last update. 
It's been a few weeks since the events of the last update happened, but I have news on this story. We have fully separated. The divorce went quickly, and she agreed to basically everything I asked without resistance. After everything that happened, I sort of retreated into myself for a few days and ignored the outside world. But I started working out more actively and more aggressively, and things started getting better for me. I was able to put my mind off everything, and once the divorce was finalized, I wasn't even really upset anymore. Things were not great, but they would get better. Two days ago, I got a phone call from my now ex-wife in tears. I guess things had not gone well for her. The true love soulmate thing was very one-sided and it was not reciprocated. I don't even know if the trainer even knew she had feelings for him. I don't know the exact details and a lot of it was very hard to hear over her crying. But whatever happened exactly, it was bad. Well, she wanted to make up at that moment. I just told her no, it was her decision to end this thing we've had going on for years. She was the one who wanted to leave and she's the one who had been disloyal to me. I was livid. I couldn't believe she would try to turn this around on me. Even if I wanted to take her back, I couldn't trust her again. What if this happens again? Another spur of the moment horseshit event happens. Frankly, she's not worth the risk if she's willing to leave a marriage over what she calls a moment of weakness. I told her that I never wanted to see or hear from her again and she should start something new because what we had is forever gone. Honestly, after knowing what kind of person she really is, I'm glad it's gone too. OP, your wife ruined what she had over a relationship that was all in her head. I'm pretty sure her trainer gets like that with everyone and your wife took it personally. Unfortunately, she decided to throw her stable relationship away for something like this. But then if she was ready to leave you for something that she wasn't even certain about, what do you think she'll do for something she's sure about? I'm glad you've divorced her and you aren't looking to get back together with her. She has taken you for granted and shifted you to her backup plan. No one deserves to be anyone's backup plan. So continue going to the gym and continue working on yourself. Remember, the best revenge you can have on her is living a much better life without her. Take care, OP. Story 2 I'll begin this problem with, I honestly don't know how I feel at the moment, so I'm looking for some unbiased input that isn't affected by my feelings for her. Also, sorry for any typos, this is long and on my phone. Let's start with the basics. I24 male have been married to my wife 24 for 3 years now, and we began dating 7 years ago in high school. About a year before we got engaged, she decided that we should take a break to figure out if I actually loved her. This happened while we were tripping on shrooms wonderfully. For those who haven't done psychedelics, that was sarcasm. It sucked balls. She claimed this was for me because she was worried that what I wanted to do was just go out and get laid and not be tied down. At this stage, neither of us had a lot of experience effectively communicating love in ways that the other recognized. Re the five love languages, and I don't fault her for feeling that way. These three months destroyed me. I failed all of my classes that semester, I was depressed, got heavily into weed, psychedelics, and a few other harder drugs. I thought she was the one, and I'm still damn sure she is. Three months later, we started seeing each other again, and we were happier and have been happier than ever. While talking things out, she asked me if I had seen anyone during the break, and I didn't. I couldn't even have imagined moving on to anyone else after such an important relationship in so short a time. She explained later that she asked because by saying I hadn't slept with anyone else, it proved to her that I did actually love her. This brings us to today. After a dream nightmare about this exact situation, I asked her if she had slept with anyone and she said, Are you sure you want to know? Yes, I want to know. Turns out she slept with and dated a good friend of both of ours for a month in that three month period. Apparently during this time, she considered us completely over with and I had no idea she felt that way. I honestly don't know how I feel. I feel betrayed. I feel okay with it because we were separated. I feel like she cheated on me, angry, like she doesn't actually love me as much as she says, having moved on so quickly. Like I want to knock the F out of that twat. Like I can't trust her and how she truly feels about me, I just don't know. I should mention, she's always been concerned with me cheating or leaving her, and used to bring it up all the time when we were first married. We were having a wonderfully communicative two years lately where we've been actively working on being open about our feelings during arguments. Please, I just need some objective opinions. I can't ask any of my friends because now they're close to both of us and too close to the relationship. 
The only friend who I could possibly talk to about it tried to get with her when we were broken up too, so I really don't want to include him in it. If we stay together, I don't want any of them harboring any animosity towards her. Please help me. Edit. That friend is gone and has been for a while. It seems like I keep injecting my feelings into it even when I said I wanted unbiased opinions and I'm sorry for that. It's just so hard not to defend her because I love her so much and it's getting in the way. Another point I should make is that her and I's stipulation for if infidelity happened was that we would be done for. So for her to fight for this and not see it as cheating, I'm lost. I don't know if it really was cheating or not and she's fighting tooth and nail for this to continue. I'm sorry this happened to your marriage, OP. This must be very hard for you. Your wife cheating on you during that break could mean a lot of things. Maybe she was looking for something new. Maybe she planned the whole thing because she liked the guy back then. Maybe it just happened, etc. It doesn't matter why she did it. What matters now is that what she did back then is threatening your relationship. This is enough to file a divorce, OP. It seems like your whole marriage was based on a lie, but before you jump to that conclusion, I would advise you both to go to marriage counseling. This way, you'll be able to express how much this is affecting you, and hopefully you'll both work it out from there. Good luck, OP. Now for some comments. I don't understand why people take breaks from a relationship. It's always ambiguous as to the rules, and somebody always ends up hurt. It never fixes anything. Just have a clean breakup, and then get together in the future if that's what you want. OP, I'd be more concerned with the fact that your wife has been lying to you for years than the specifics of what she did while you were separated. How can you really trust her in the future, knowing that she's capable of that? You got totally effed over, and what she did was manipulative and selfish. Taking a break under false pretenses is definitely cheating and a betrayal. Here's what I think it comes down to. You have to talk to her about what you're feeling. If she admits what she did was wrong and sincerely apologizes for what she did, consider giving her another chance. If she gets her back up, doesn't apologize, and uses the technicality of a break as an excuse to say she didn't do anything wrong, then it's time to go find a divorce lawyer. If she can recognize her fault in this, then there's a chance she was just being dumb and isn't a true cheater. You guys got together when you were high school kids. You went away to college and grew up and changed as people. You two didn't have a ton of adult relationship experience. Maybe she had doubts and didn't know this and didn't know if this was a happy relationship because she didn't have anything else to compare it to. It would be kind of crappy if you guys were 30 year olds, but young people learn by exploring and experimenting and effing up. You learn to have healthy communication in a relationship by having unhealthy communication and effing up and then trying to do better. You learn to have empathy for your partner by effing up and hurting their feelings and then doing better. I don't think that she was being malicious and like deliberately deceiving you. I think that you were both young.